Good evening. My name is Tommy Love. I'm the Executive Director of Advancement and also the Western Oregon University Foundation. I am thrilled to be able to welcome everyone to the 2014 Annual Scholarship Dinner this evening. Tonight we are celebrating new friendships, the ones built here tonight between our students and you, our donors. I would like to acknowledge and thank all the important groups that are here this evening with us. We have members of the Western Oregon University Foundation Board of Trustees joining us. Also with us tonight are a number of our university professors, administrators, staff, and also our retirees. A special thank you for me personally to the WOU Foundation staff who always does a tremendous job in helping make this event possible this evening. And it is really great to see all of the scholarship recipients here tonight. Always a special part for us as administrators, staff, and faculty. Thank you all for being here this evening. We also have two companies that make tonight very special. I would like to thank Maggie and Dwight Triplett and their daughter Martha from Petals and Vines for the amazing centerpieces you have on your tables this evening. And I would also like to thank Neil and Miriam, who is an alum, by the way, of Haugen's Gallery Portrait Studios from here in town, who have very generously donated their time and expertise to this event. A special thank you to them for taking tonight's photos. Thank you. <laughs> Western Oregon University is a very special place because of our diverse population and scholarships allow us to connect and retain a broad group of students with varied interests of all areas. During our former presentation, you will learn more about them as our students and what brings them here. It will all begin in approximately 30 minutes. So during that time, please relax, enjoy your salads, and get to know your friends at your table. Thank you so much. I'm Mark Weiss, President of Western Oregon University. Thank you all for being here tonight to build friendships and celebrate the impact scholarships have for our students and this university. Scholarships are critical to our collective success and at this time of positive change in our university system. I am glad we are taking a moment to celebrate the impact you, our friends, make. I describe our university as one with mission discipline as a core strength. Partnered with our proactive fiscal management approach, we have built a solid f financial foundation. I see these same qualities echoed in our student population, including the nearly 400 students that receive scholarships as part of the WOU Foundation Scholarship Program. These students use those same qualities of discipline and being proactive to guide and propel them to excel in college, apply for scholarships, and to succeed long term. Please join me in applauding them. Scholarships for many of our students is the difference between financial health and financial stress. Sometimes even the difference between attending Western Oregon University or trying directly to find a job right out of high school. It is with a little help from our friends 
at MAPS Credit Union that we created a new scholarship this year, the MAPS Peer Mentor Scholarship. It supports student-to-student -student outreach, including fiscal health education. Thank you, MAPS Credit Union. Western Oregon excels in serving Oregon residents, especially underrepresented minorities. It is with a little help from our friends at companies like NORPAC, providing scholarships for LEAP, the Latino Education Access Program, that continue to make an impact on, our fam on families and help to ensure that a new generation of students are able to achieve the goal of a college education. Thank you, NORPAC. We have amazing programs here at Western Oregon University that foster dreams like athletics, music, theater, and art, to name but a few. Students receive scholarships like the Frowndiener football, or the Ramsdale Clifton Cairns Johnson Music, or the Dan and Gail Cannon Painter Scholarships. So with a little help from our friends, like Corey and Jack, like Ron and Norma, and those who are here with us in spirit tonight, like Lynn Ramsdale and Dan and Gail, our amazingly talented students have to worry a little less about money and can concentrate more on their passions. Please join me in thanking all of our donors, alumni, and friends in the room that help foster students' passions and talents. WOU is a thriving institution, playing a critical role in helping Oregon achieve its goal for a competitive, educated workforce. We do this by having quality faculty and staff dedicated to the highest level of academic programming. So with a little help from our friends, including many current and former members of our faculty, students, that excel in areas like gerontology, interdisciplinary studies, special education, biology, and much more. Have, so these students have the opportunity to compete for scholarships. If you have ever taught at Oregon College of Education, Western Oregon State College, or Western Oregon University, currently or in the past, we thank you. Please give these educators and scholarship supporters a round of applause. These are just a few examples that make Western Oregon University a thriving institution. Please know we are grateful for each of you and your impact on the success of our students. My hope is that during dinner you were able to share stories at your table like we did at ours, to hear directly from a student firsthand how you have made a difference in their life. And I hope you will continue to learn more about each other during dessert this evening. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our narrator for tonight's show, Dr. Mary Ellen Dello Strito is an assistant research professor in the T Teaching Research Institute, as well as the director of Abby's House Center for Women and Families. Mary Ellen? Good evening. It's my pleasure tonight to speak directly to all of you in the audience that have made an investment in scholarships. Tonight's program has been designed to help tell you the story of the impact of a scholarship and your investment. For all the special guests and recipients in the room, we hope to entertain you. I'm doing this with some help from my friends, Wu students. Foundation scholarships cover many different disciplines, departments, divisions, and majors. 
The recipients are even more varied. Their backgrounds, families, goals, values, dreams, and talents. When asked, students tell us they want you, as donors, to know them beyond their major and their year in school. They want you to know their stories, and in knowing them, feel the very real impact your scholarship has made. Tonight's show features some amazing students, and these are just a few of the hundreds of students that receive scholarships from the Wu Foundation Scholarship Program. We start tonight's presentation with Anna's story, being shared with us by teaching major Maggie Edwards. Hello. I am glad to be here because with a little help from my scholarship, I will be graduating in June. Knowing the importance of my scholarship, I am excited to share Anna's story with all of you. Last summer, the Western Oregon University Foundation received a call from an alumnus, Anna Hansen. She was hoping to track down her scholarship name and donor. She wanted to thank them for the impact they had on her life. The foundation loves to facilitate this type of interaction, just like tonight, with all of us. And although they searched, they could not fulfill her wish. You see, Anna was 90 and received her scholarship 72 years ago. The foundation told her that if she was willing, they would still welcome her thank you letter and instead share it with current donors and contacts. So tonight, it is my honor to read Anna's letter. Dear Wu Foundation, attending college was totally unexpected for me. A high school faculty member had applied for a scholarship for me during the last month of school. I graduated from Salem High the first Friday in June 1941 and was on my way to Monmouth, Oregon College of Education on Sunday. A small group of us started our college life that summer. Monmouth was a small town then with Jessica Todd Hall Dormitory at the North End. We, new students, became acquainted with returning teachers and quickly found our way around campus and town. As I recall, 72 years ago, our classes were pretty well laid out for our program, which was three years, barring some choices in PE, art, music, etc. After fall quarter, several of us moved to Howell House and learned how to share kitchens and other spaces, as well as learning from our independents. This time also marked the U.S. entry into World War II and rationing and shortages, as well as the opening of Camp Adair, a local USO, and soldiers. My scholarship had provided me with the opportunity for a good education and a chance to meet and mix with students from other locations. The smaller classes and friendly faculty encouraged and guided. I graduated summer of 1943 and started teaching in McMinnville, Oregon in September for a starting salary of $1,200 a year. <laughs> teaching jobs were easier to get at this time and since I had not traveled much before, I took jobs in Portland, Salem, and Klamath Falls, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and Escondido, California over the next 10 years. After my marriage in 1951 and Ed's getting out of the Navy, we settled in Ellensburg, Washington in 1953. In 1965, when the youngest of our four children was ready for kindergarten, I was offered a special education teaching position in Ellensburg. I taught four years and took classes at Central Washington State College, now CWU. During this time, Ed returned to college and earned his teaching certificate. Then we moved to a small town in Eastern Washington where we taught for 10 years. By this time, we were empty nesters, so we took the opportunity to teach in a small native village on the Yukon River, halfway between Fairbanks and Nome for four years before retiring. Without the initial help of the scholarship, this would not have been. 
Many thanks to the many groups, both large and small, who supply and support these opportunities. Sincerely, Anna Hansen Sullivan, Scholarship 1941. I'm excited to see where my scholarship leads me in life, and I look forward to writing my own letter at 90. <laughs> Thank you all for allowing me to read you Anna's story. I think we can all identify with something in Anna's letter, whether it was the unexpected gift of college, the growth of college years, a fondness of life's twists and turns, or ultimately the immense gratitude for one critical moment in life that leads you down your own life's path. For many of our students at Western, scholarships are the critical moment, just like it was for Anna. 80% of our student population is from Oregon. 46% are considered low income and are Pell Grant recipients. The university is increasingly female and diverse. And each student, although having a common thread, have their own story, their own moment. This fall, more than 100 students came together to celebrate receiving a scholarship. Some of them, on video, shared their scholarship story. And now we would like to drop the screen and have you hear from students themselves about the impact you, friends of the university, have on them. This scholarship is going to allow me to finish my degree in a more timely manner than only being able to take a certain amount of credits at a time. Um, purely because I can't afford it <laughs> and this scholarship really is allowing me to be able to, to complete my, my dream of becoming an elementary school teacher. These scholarships have allowed me to continue my education. Without them it would have been very difficult financially for me to continue studying here at Western and so being able to continue being at this college that I love so much and achieving the goals and the dreams that I have set out for myself is something really special. This scholarship has made an impact on me because I've been able to complete my education this year. Otherwise, I may not have been able to finish my bachelor's in criminal justice. Um, my lifelong goal or childhood goal has been to be going to investigations, and that's what I hope to do once I graduate. I knew I wanted to go to Western uh, beginning of my senior year. Um, didn't really know how I was going to pay for it. Um, was banking on a couple scholarships. Uh, I was able to get enough scholarship money that you know I could come here my freshman year and uh, figure out from there. So this scholarship uh, was actually kind of a tipping point for me. I'm grateful for my scholarship because I'm able to spend my time volunteering and mentoring youth instead of needing to work full time while attending school. It gives me the chance to actually get to go to college, which I am so thankful for. I've always wanted to be an elementary school teacher and, um, you know, that obviously doesn't pay that great. So it's awesome to have scholarships like this that help pay through school so I don't get overburdened by loans. It allows me to go to an, a school like Western Oregon, which is just an amazing place to be, and it allows me to go to college and get a degree and do something with my life. I'm from a poor family where we don't have enough money. So without it, I wouldn't continue with my education. Without this scholarship, I wouldn't be able to achieve my career goal of working in wildlife management and doing field work uh, for conservation biology. So without the scholarships that I have received from Western, especially this one, I wouldn't be able to be here. I wouldn't have been able to come up with the money to be able to come and get a formal education. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is making my dreams for education and a good job and being a professional in my field possible. Out of all the people that they could have picked, they picked me and that's pretty cool and that I want to show them that I'm worthy of the scholarship that they gave me. It's just such a blessing and I hope that one day I can give back to my community the way that they've given to theirs. And really words cannot describe how grateful I am for that scholarship 
and um, I hope that at some point in my life I will be able to give back to college students just like myself as these donors have done. I want to say thank you for giving me the scholarship and I appreciate everything that they have done and I look forward to showing you more of my artwork in the future. I'd really just like to say a heartfelt thank you. Before we move on, I understand that we have a special guest. <laughs> Wolfie, my friend, I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> Did you know we have faculty and alumni from the OCE and WASC too? As you know, at heart, we are all wolves. Is this for me? <laughs> it's a thank you card. Do you want me to read this to the group? Great. Dear friends of the wolves, your support of scholarships for student athletes makes a big difference. Each year, over 100 wolves are awarded partial athletic scholarships from your donated dollars. Your continued support is so important to the success of our teams. With over 350 wolves in our program, every dollar makes a difference. Your contributions to athletic scholarships help us both academically and athletically to achieve our goals. On behalf of all the wolves who receive scholarship funding from friends like you, please accept a big thank you. Best wishes, Wolfie. We are so lucky here at Western to have a wide variety of activities, programs, clubs to attract and educate students. While students come here to gather knowledge and learn, some are also perfecting a talent so that one day they may share and teach that talent to others. I'm excited because tonight they're going to share that talent with us. Please welcome to the stage music scholarship recipients, Sierra Mullins, Laura Killip, Aaron Westfall, Eric Moulton, and Cade Bush. My name is Laura Killip, and I'm a double major in music and theater, and I'm a dance minor. I'm receiving the Ramsdale Clifton Kern Johnson's Music Scholarship, the Adolph and Phyllis Scharf Scholarship, and the Ronald and Marilyn Wynn Musical Theater Scholarship. I'm thankful for the support that I get from scholarships because it allows me to focus on school and not worry about having a full-time job. Hi, I'm Erin Westfall, and this is my third year at Western. I really enjoyed studying music here. And the scholarship I received, the Ransdell Clifton Kearns Johnson Scholarship, has allowed me to continue my studies here and pursue my passion for music. Hi, my name is Eric Moulton. I'm a music major here at Western, and I'm a recipient of the Provost Scholarship. And it has helped me significantly lower the amount of debt that I have to accrue. <laughs> <clears throat> My name is Cade Bush. I am a music student here at Western and I received the Mel Brown Scholarship Award and this helps me to pursue, pursue my passion in music. My name is Sierra Mullins and I'm a recipient of the Ramsdale Clifton Kearns Johnson Scholarship as well. Uh, by receiving this generous award, uh, I've been able to work much less this year than last year, allowing me to focus on graduating this spring with a double degree in English Linguistics and Music. So tonight we've prepared for you a song that compi uh, combines Count on Me by Bruno Mars and Kind and Generous by Natalie Merchant to show our appreciation for your investment in our education. You've been so kind and generous, I don't know how you keep on giving For your kindness, I'm under to you For your selfishness, I'm grateful and for everything you've all done You know I'm bound to thank you If I never been laid out when we 
are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there. And that's what friends are supposed to do. Count on you like four, three, two. I'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. just some of the amazing students that receive scholarships through the Wu Foundation Scholarship Program. To all of you in the audience that have made an investment in scholarships, thank you. The world is limitless with a little help from our friends.